This week in art, we will be making hot air balloon paper sculptures. I love the way that they twirl in the air when you hang them. Let's get started. These are the materials we will need for this week's art group. The cutout colored papers of the hot air balloon shapes, scissors, tape, string or yarn, some markers, and crayons. I love hot air balloons. They are always designed with such colorful and fun line types. We're going to explore line types again in this art group. I've designed each cutout with a different line type. I have a vertical line, a horizontal line on the yellow, a zigzag line, a wavy line on the blue, and a diagonal dash line on the purple. How many line types can you use to decorate your hot air balloon cutout? The next step is to fold each cutout in half with the line design side up. Be sure to align the sides as closely as possible. The next step is to take all the folded pieces of the cutouts and glue them together back to back with the printed side or the line design side on the outside. All you'll need to do is take some glue and run it down the back side of each cutout and then stick them together. When it's done, you will have all your pieces stuck together like this. I used a recycled toilet paper roll to create a basket for my hot air balloon. I used both vertical and horizontal lines to make it look like a real basket. The next step is to take your basket and attach it to your hot air balloon. I used some yarn, two of the same lengths, taped it on the inside of the paper towel, uh, the toilet paper roll, and then taped it to the outside edge of the hot air balloon. The last step is to poke a hole at the top of the balloon and put some yarn or string in it, hang it, and watch it spin. I hope you enjoyed making this hot air balloon sculpture with me today, and I hope to see you in our group next week.